Now you see this right here, this is a hoverboard that your boy Soldier Boy is riding. Now it's unrelated to the story other than the fact that the story is about hoverboards. So just wanted to say if they're legal where you live, get one from Soldier Boy. You know, support your favorite rapper. They're called the Soldier Board. Now he's not the only one that's selling them, but you know, why not support Soldier? Soldier. Anyways, did you know that those damn things are illegal in New York? And they want you to pay them two hundred dollars. Yes, a $200 fine if your ass is caught riding a damn hoverboard in New York. <gasps> I'm going to read to you a news story from the New York Daily News .com. Then I'll give my brief opinion. Now, if you want to read the story for yourself, click the link below. Visit my blog and it's right there for your viewing and reading pleasure. And, you know, I mean, I would think that the NYPD had better things to do, but whatever. So the title of the article is NYPD declares hoverboards illegal, exposing riders to $200 fine. So did the NYPD come up with this or did it have to go through somebody because it says that the, the NYPD declares? Are they just relaying the message or are they creating policies? I mean, did they come up with this? I, I don't know how that works. But anyways, so the New York Daily News writes and I quote, who knew gliding through the streets in New York could get you in trouble with the law? But people zipping around town on hoverboards, the two-wheel, hands-free, motorized contraptions are cruising for a costly ticket. While they've become something of a fad and a hit with celebs, the NYPD has now declared them illegal, exposing riders to a $200 fine. Pause the story. You notice anything that quote-unquote black people do? Somehow they try to find to be illegal? They're like, oh, I see a bunch of so-called black guys, you know, sagging their pants. So let's make that shit illegal. Let's let's find a reason to make it illegal. Oh, the hoverboard thing. We see a bunch of brownies riding on them. <laughs> make that shit illegal. They're always trying to find ways to rob brown people. Anyway, back to the story. The story goes on to say, and I quote, <laughs> even with more New Yorkers finding the hoverboards a quick and effortless way to maneuver through the streets, lean a touch forward in your ceiling. A city council member wants a law banning them from the road. Talk about a killjoy. People like Marcos Avila, 32 from Jackson Heights, decided to ditch bikes, subways, and buses for the hoverboard when he first spotted them this spring. Now he's worried he'll have to return to travel as usual. Quote, It's really going to disrupt my life, Avila, 32, told the Daily News. That was my go-to device. Hoverboards have been the rage in New York since the summer, whether as a novelty or new mode of transportation. But until the NYPD put the official whammy on them this week, there was a gray area on whether they're street legal. Uh-oh, here's where it gets interesting. Now the department is pulling out the legalese. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's the language of the law. <laughs> now the department is pulling out the legalese saying the gizmos violate state vehicle and traffic laws. And Councilman Andy King, a Democrat from the Bronx, wants to move from the streets to the parks saying, quote, I don't want to treat it as a form of transportation. Avila, a videographer, said he got a heads up on the new rules of the road while in Herald Square Wednesday when an officer issued him a warning. Tim Hayden, owner of Hood Riders, that's H-O-O-D-R-I-D-E-R-Z, Tim Hayden, owner of Hood Riders, an online retailer of motorized transportation devices based in Lower Manhattan, said confusion persists. Quote, we would like there to be a bit more clarity around it, he said. Hayden, 39, rides a single wheel, self-balanced transporter and organizes group rides around Central Park. Used safely, he said, hoverboards don't endanger pedestrians. These funky looking devices are a serious way to move around a crowded city, though they attract plenty of stares and sometimes a bit of envy, even from cops, Hayden said. Quote, we get asked by police officers, quote, where can I buy one of those? That looks cool, he said. Hoverboards are the hot new way to cruise around the city, but the NYPD on Wednesday say they run afoul of the law. And then they went on to post a picture of somebody standing on a hoverboard. And this is from the NYPD's 26th precinct. They, they tweeted this out at, now the, the Twitter handle was at NYPD26PCT. And... What they said was be advised that the electronic hashtag hoverboard is illegal 
as per New York City Administration Code 19-176.2. Hashtag Morningside, hashtag Harlem, hashtag Christmas. In other words, don't be letting your kids ride around this shit on Christmas Day thinking that it's all good. It's all sweet because it's not. <laughs> Anyways, the story goes on to say a hoverboard or self-balanced scooter is a motorized board with two wheels on the side and no handles that propels a rider who stands straight up and gently leans forward. Some designs feature a single wheel. Prices range from $400 to more than $1,000. Speeds can go up to 10 miles per hour. Hoverboards and, quote, personal transporters are prohibited in the city under New York State traffic and vehicle law. Bummer. End quote. Wow. Isn't this something? So they done made it illegal for you to go zip around in your zip zip. Isn't that some bullshit? I know, I know, I know. Damn shame. Anyways, do you own a hoverboard? Do you want to own one? You just didn't get one yet and you're planning on getting one? Do you think that this law should be the law of the land? Or you think that that's bullshit and they need to just scrap this idea and let people zip around in their little scooters? Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. For the record, I think that the police need to arrest themselves for being stupid. This is ridiculous. They just don't want anybody to have any goddamn fun. You want to know what's dangerous to people? The NYPD running around beating the shit out of people, murdering people, hitting people with fucking batons and other objects, beating the shit out of people, sodomizing people, sticking them up people's asses and then putting them in their mouths. Now, all of that shit is dangerous and it's bad for your health. Ice Cube voice. A little hoverboard never hurt anybody unless you got hit by a car on one or something like that. But, but that was your gross negligence. There's plenty of things that are more dangerous like the cops out there. But this is just my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. Meet Magazine.